There are people in need of you right now. Don't let there be blood found on your hands and do not grow weary in well-doing. I want you to know that when you're interceding for these individuals, you're not just interceding for them. God has brought me to a place where my intercession for my husband is the norm. As I wake up and praise the Lord and thank him for today, I'm praying for that young man as well. This is my assignment. It's beyond me. It's my honor to the Lord. It's my obedience to the Lord. It took a while to come to this place to pray for him, regardless of my feelings. It took a while for me to pray for his walk with the Lord rather than his ability to be committed to me in prayers against any spirit that would try to devise and destroy our union. But I had the revelation to know and understand that my praying for his walk is killing two birds with one stone. If I'm praying for his walk with the Lord, if I'm praying for his salvation, if I'm praying not just his salvation to say I receive Christ, but him to be delivered from wounds, him to be delivered from any attack of the enemy, my praying for his walk with the Lord and his intimacy with Christ is covering his ability to be committed to me. It's securing that because if he has the mind of Christ and the heart of Christ, his love for me will be the love of Christ. So if that's not what your prayer posture has been, let this be some insight to you that the Lord is calling you to start praying for their walk because that will begin to break other things that you're trying to attack a one by one. If they're in the Lord, then these things are covered in the name of Jesus. So when you're interceding for them, you're not just praying for them, you're praying for your children. You're praying for the generation and the legacy that you leave behind. You can't just say, oh, I'm not feeling it today. Oh, he doesn't deserve it, whatever. The fact of the matter is, if you're going to bring forth children into the world with this person, the outcome and the destiny of that child has a lot to do with where that man is at in Christ. So do not grow weary because you're praying for more than just that person. And if you have the love of God, you will want this person to be delivered by what may be bewitching them. You'll want them to know the love of God as you have come to know it. And don't sleep on God. Don't say they're too far gone. Or, or don't say they're, the demonic stronghold is so strong that they can't be delivered. Because once upon a time, I was the talk of the town and not in a good way. I remember a few times I went to a different part of the city or a different city itself. And there would be people in my age group coming to me and asking me about the scoop on my life. Because they heard some stuff on the streets. I was the last person that you would think would be coming to Christ on fire for the Lord, running a ministry by the Spirit of the Lord, by His grace, in the name of Jesus, all glory to God. I was the last candidate for that. But God said, I chose her. God said, I chose you. I chose that man. I chose that woman. So don't sleep on what the Lord can do. Even recollect where, how far you've come, what the Lord has delivered you out of. Reflect on that and praise the Lord for that. Because he will do it for that person. He said that he will yoke you equally with that person if you yield to the Lord and let him work it out at his appointed and perfect time. And so that means this is the person who will come to the Lord in the name of Jesus. That is your portion, completely baptized and immersed in the waters, coming up a new creation in Christ, following the Lord. And let it be unto you according to your faith. Because there are some people who are narrow-minded and who don't believe in speaking in a new tongue and all of that stuff. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your husband, your wife, will be a person who will speak in a new tongue and come away with the Lord, be a seer in the spirit in the name of Jesus. Who will perceive a thing even before you at times. You guys will partner in the spirit. Your faith walk will be understood. Your passion for Christ will be understood and it will be matched in the name of Jesus. I can't say when and I can't say how, but it will come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name, yes and amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, here's some more content. Here's like my favorite video yet. Check it out if you have not already. <laughs> God bless you. Here's my information and thank you so much for your support. Comment, like, subscribe, and share all that good stuff. My name is Krista Nicolaya and that'll be changing soon. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Later. Bye.